Hello, I'm Renee Esquivel, and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. I do have the need to record phone calls. Not often, not even regularly, but I do have that need. And until Apple relents on their lock, uh, or block, more better said, on that feature, you have to use third-party apps, which always require you to dial out, to essentially set up a, um, a two-way call. And that third party number is what does the recording. Now I had been using Call Recorder, uh, which was $29.99 a year, and now they jacked that up to uh, 80 a year, $79.99. But I came across an app called Rev Call Recorder. It does the exact same things, only they don't charge for the recording of the apps, they charge you per minute if you want a transcription. Uh, so if you had a 10 minute phone call and wanted a transcription of that, it'd be $1.50 a minute uh, or $15. But if you're not requiring a transcription, the recording part is free and you have your calls recorded. So let's get right into it. You'll see it work there with a lot of versatility on the iPhone. I'm also able to use it, uh, use the app uh, to make calls and record them uh, on my iPad Pro. Uh, it's a M1 2021 model, 11 inch, but that one is a cellular model. And I believe uh, I'm almost certain you have to have that cellular model with the SIM card in order to use the app uh, to record calls. But I'll get right into it and you'll see it working both ways, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and bring up the App Store on the iPhone and uh, go ahead and type in Rev uh, a Call Recorder, you see it there. Let's go ahead and uh, install that app. And then tap open. Or actually, I'll just launch it from the iPad uh, uh, view there. Uh, ask the app not to track. Uh, skip the phone validation. Uh, not now for the updates. I like to see those update notifications in the App Store and then do it manually. And at this point, we're ready to start a recording. Okay, so let's do a test phone call. First one I'll do is using uh, directly dialing from the app itself. And I'm going to dial an old employer of mine from over 20 years ago. But I just remember the number, so I use it for this purpose. That number there is important. That's what you use if you want to do recordings an alternate method i'll show you momentarily thank you for calling the home depot atlanta store port center if you okay. know the extension of the person so or the, the call is made now that the recording does appear but it may be about a minute before it's actually available in the interim i'm going to head go ahead and bring up uh, google voice now I do use Google Voice from time to time on when I'm doing business. Uh, there are times I find myself in a location where I can't get any kind of phone signal, either with AT&T, with my 5G service, or with my T-Mobile hotspot, that's a 5G hotspot. And sometimes when that happens, usually anyway, there is Wi-Fi. And so using the Wi-Fi, I can make a call and Google Voice is a good way to do that. So let me show you making a call that way and then how to record it. Okay, so uh, Google Voice, it always shows a different number there. I think it's the way their phone banks work in dialing out, but it will dial your destination even though that number displayed there is not the one you saw me dial. Thank you for calling the Home Depot Atlanta store. Center. Okay. If you know the extension and then of the I will go to or add the a call. you are trying to reach, please enter that number now. Number dial. For directions to the store support center. And I call that same two. number in Formal. San Francisco or well, Bay Area. Um, and then when you hear that beep, you do a merge. Five. 
or for further assistance, and at that point, please hold for the, the phone Home call Depot is directory. being recorded. And so I'll wait to get a little bit more voice on it. Uh, Who would you like to reach? That's good enough. And I'll go ahead and end that call. Now, um, let's see. I can go back into the app. It's still processing that second phone call uh, that may not be available, but the first one is. So let's go ahead and just do a playback so you can see that. Thank you for calling the Home Depot call Atlanta Store recorded. Support Center. If you know the extension of the person or the department you are trying to... Okay. And with the options there, I can rename it, trim it. You own your recordings. Once you download them, they are removed from the server uh, at, at the uh, for Rev Recordings. Oh, okay, it skips the initial silence of uh, from the merge side. That's a nice feature, I didn't realize that. And I go ahead and play. Or for further assistance, please hold for the Home Depot voice directory. And I'll wait to get a little bit more voice on it. Uh, Who would you like to reach? That's good enough. Okay, so there you see those two calls being done that way. Um, dialing directly, using your cell phone, using the app anyway. And the other one going through Wi-Fi. And that Wi-Fi uh, method, it also works if you are just doing a regular phone call, you won't always be using the app. You won't always want to record. But let's say you start a phone call. And you realize, hey, I really do want to record that. Thank you for calling the Home Depot then Atlanta Store Support merge, Center. Just like you if you know the earlier, extension of the person or the department you are trying to reach, please enter that, that number. number. I'm going to actually add it to my contacts. Press three. And at this for point, you're now team. recording. Press four. For dial by name directory, press five. Or for further assistance, please hold for the Home Depot. And that's exactly what you would do with an incoming call. You would uh, receive the call, do that merge, add in that four and five area code phone number and uh, make a set up a two-way call and then at that point your recording is going to happen and you'll have access to it through the app okie dokie okay let's go to the app store and let's install the rev recorder here on the ipad rev recorder and there it is and you can see by the circle from my mouse cursor that I'm using universal control which I'm using the trackpad and keyboard that I use on my Mac mini M1 again not now for the updates Okay, I'm going to go ahead and initiate a call from the uh, Rev Call Recorder app. Thank you for calling the Home Depot Atlanta Store Support Center. If you know the extension of the person or the department you are trying to reach, please enter that number now. For Okay. Okay, let's do a playback on that recording. Thank you for calling the Home Depot Atlanta Store Support Center. If you know the extension of the person or... Okay, so on a iPad, 
with the cellular, uh, that is a cellular model, uh, the Rev Call Recorder app works. Now there's no need to attempt to try to, uh, the alternate method for recording calls because it doesn't have that ability. It Wi-Fi calls uh, as its cellular plan is limited to data. But the, uh, the fact that it has the Wi-Fi uh, through the cellular edition lets it work. Hopefully this will meet a need that you have, at least on your iPhone. Uh, now, uh, uh, post your any questions you have. Uh, those who have posted questions know that I do respond pretty quick to them. Uh, give me a like and subscribe, um, and I will counter subscribe to your channel, and I'll watch content on your channel and leave likes, because I want to take a good neighbor approach. As you're helping to build up my channel, I'll help to build up yours. Okay, and, and that will be all benefit. Uh, and until next time, bye-bye.